Hello, this is the Radio Geek, and today for you I have something a little bit different, I guess. This is a um, a rocket radio. It's a uh, crystal radio, and this is a reproduction. This isn't the original. Um, these were quite popular in the early 60s with the uh, space race between the U.S. and the and the Soviets. So everybody was fascinated with rockets and missiles and things like that. So everything was space and um, this is a reproduction of a little crystal radio and apparently this one was originally sold um, uh, by Restoration Hardware. Um, I don't believe these are available any longer. It talks a little bit about it here on the back of the box if you'd like to pause and read that you can. It shows you a little bit about it and how to operate it. Well, the box is a little banged up, but uh, eh, not too bad. It um, comes with a little retro style manual, and uh, it tells you about the radio and um, how to um, hook up an antenna. Got some nice uh, pictorials in here. And it shows the radio itself. And uh, kind of just keeps folding out here. <laughs> um, and on the other side, it's got a, quite a, a lengthy uh, thing about uh, radio waves and, and how radio pretty much works and uh, the um, demodulation of the AM signal and... Uh, basically how a, um, a little crystal radio works. And it even has a little uh, schematic there. Um, basically I think the schematic is a little bit, uh, well I guess you could draw it that way, but I think there's just a piece of a ferrite bar that slides in and out of this uh, coil to tune it. Um, so that's that, and the actual radio itself is here, and it's uh, it's kind of neat. It's a uh, interesting little radio. It says um, rocket radio right there on its side, and uh, and uh, here there's some some writing, and it says it's a uh, copyright 1999 by uh, uh, Demert Company and um, uh, made in China. Uh, it's just got two wires coming out of it basically. It has a, uh, a little alligator clip lead to uh, clip on as your um, ground slash antenna. And then the um, uh, earphone, earpiece here. And the, the kind of the nice thing about this one, I don't know if they all do this or not, but if you take the end of this, you can twist it, and you can take this completely off. Now I bought this uh, used at a ham vest, and it didn't really look like it was used. There wasn't any gross earwax inside her or anything, but I uh, unscrewed it and I thoroughly cleaned and sanitized it. Um, so if you ever get one of these and check to see if the end unscrews, and you'll be able to clean it up if you're unsure of its uh, origin. Um, so basically what you do is you um, connect this up um, for your antenna and uh, you have to have some fairly powerful stations in your area to probably pick anything up. Um, I'm going to probably have to try this at night to see if I can pick anything up at all. Um, I won't be able to really demonstrate it just because of the nature of it being a uh, crystal radio with this type of uh, headphone and it being hardwired into the unit. I don't really want to take it apart because um, I'm afraid this plastic might be be brittle and and break. I, it's not an original one or anything, but you know, I think I'd probably break it before I could really get into the insides of it. So we'll just um, leave it at that. We won't be able to really demonstrate it. Um, but that's basically what you do: is you hook up uh, the wire for your uh, antenna, and uh, this here is is a uh, is like a a shaft. It goes in the coil and then there's a piece of ferry material on it and it goes 
in and out of the coil and then to, does all the tuning. So basically you just gr grab the end here and you, you pull on it and you listen, pull on it slowly, and it extends out just about that far, maybe, oh I don't know, maybe up to about two inches maybe. And then you, you push it in and it doesn't go all the way to the to the end. There's it'll stop right about there, so maybe I don't know, half inch, quarter of an inch, somewhere in between there. Um, so that's how you that's how you tune it. Now, I looked up uh, on the internet here and try to see if I can find any information at all on this thing, and there really wasn't that much information on it per se. Um, I did find some information and it talked about it, where it says you know we've we got you got the reproduction ones and then you got the original ones obviously that were worth um, they're worth a lot more money than, than this one was. So this was just a reproduction one, and uh, they give on um, the internet here. He found a schematic which is very similar to the schematic we saw in the owner's manual, and you can see you just have a ground clip here, um, uh, the one in thirty-four type uh, diode here, um, a resistor. It says hundred K and a capacitor of two hundred fifty picofarads, and it says that the uh, um, the inductor is uh, 512 microhenries and it's adjustable and then it shows you the, the slug here that you, you you're pushing in and out with that with that rod so that's pretty much the schematic of a very very basic uh, crystal radio and I thought this photo here was interesting I don't know how well this is coming out um, I was only able to print in black and white but basically you have that um, 512 uh, microhenry inductor here and then at the end of the stick or the shaft you've got that ferried material that just pushes through it so that's that's how they um, do their do their tuning they do make some on this web page they did make some recommendations for some possible improvements um, but then again you'd have to crack this thing open to make those changes and I'm, I'm really uh, hesitant to to try to do that because I think that plastic is probably pretty brittle and uh, probably could uh, could break um, very easily. But anyway, I just thought I thought it was neat. I thought it was pretty cool, and um, I, I saw it at a ham fest, and I thought, well, you know, that's pretty unique, and and it's uh, you know. I'll give it a try and see if it works, if I can get anything out of it or not. I don't know if I will be able to, but nonetheless, it's um, uh, just a neat looking little uh, <laughs> little crystal radio. I'm sure there are probably some people out there that actually remember having one of these, uh, possibly as a, as a child, one of the real ones. But um, um, I, I, don't know, I just thought it was neat. I thought I'd uh, just make a little quick video and show it to you guys and see if you guys, uh, you know, any of you guys remember these and have ever played with one. Um, so there it is, the, uh, the crystal rocket radio. So with that, I'll see you next time. This is the Radio Geek.